Hi, Bishop Peter, and welcome to another exciting episode of Faith Questions with Bishop Peter Carroll. Thank you, Mark. Mm. Well, today our question has to do with regeneration again, but not this time uh, regeneration of, of parishes, but all of that kind of depends on the regeneration of every single church member and those who follow our Lord Jesus Christ. So um, my question is, how can we as individual believers kind of regenerate our faith and grow in faith? That's really what I'm asking. What are your thoughts on that? I want to share a couple of thoughts, but I think we're going to need another episode a few weeks down the track because there's so much we can say about regeneration. It's, it's really exciting and it goes to the depth of our own individual lives. Um, at the heart of being a regenerated Christian is a life of prayer and scripture reading. A prayer in which we talk to God, scripture in which we allow God to talk to us. Sure. The challenge for us is what what's the best rhythm of prayer? What's the best way to mm. read scripture? Which helps me to, mm. to grow and to be renewed in my faith. Mm. And there will be some differing answers uh, across differing individuals. Mm. Uh, for myself, for example, I'm a, I'm a pretty poor prayer on my own. Mm. I'm really helped in my prayer life if I can meet with one other person with a small group, mm. uh, office prayers, for example, here in the Anglican Centre, are so important to me as yeah. a part of my own discipline of prayer. Sure, sure. So uh, I really encourage uh, viewers here to work out what, what works for them and mm -hmm. to try and make that work. Mm -hmm. uh, and in particular, if that involves meeting with one other person with a small group, mm. uh, it could be online these days, it could be face to face, um, make the effort. Mm. Maybe that brings me to the other thing is, I don't think there's anything here which just happens by sitting still. Mm -hmm. uh, a personal prayer life does involve moving away, say, from the distractions of maybe TV, of other conversations in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, reading scripture, you've actually got to pick your Bible up yep. or your iPad and, and, and open up the scriptures and yep. read. Yep. So uh, there is a bit of effort required. Uh, but it's like an investment in, in your spiritual life mm -hmm. and my spiritual life. Mm -hmm. it, it will repay itself. Mm -hmm. So at the heart of regeneration uh, is our conversation with God, prayer, I talk to God, mm -hmm. scripture reading, mm -hmm. I'm open to God talking to me. So a question that springs to my mind is that often um, if we're in an accountable relationship with someone else and we know we're going to have to say, or give account to that person about what we've been doing spiritually in our devotional life, we tend to do it more readily, uh, we've got more commitment. But if we know we're not going to sort of answer to anyone, we, 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 we can get distracted and we can just, you know, um, those opportunities can just be let go. So what is the role of, of accountability in, in our discipleship and our personal spiritual growth, do you think? Well, I think, as you're saying, the role of accountability is to keep us up to the mark, mm. uh, to help us to be regular in, mm -hmm. in our devotional life. Mm. Uh, all of us, unless we're fasting, uh, eat every day, because we know you've got to eat every day to, to live. Uh, ditto prayer, Bible reading, other mm. means of spiritual mm. regeneration. To have someone who will say, how's your prayer life been this past week or this past month? Absolutely. Uh, whether that person is what we might call a prayer partner, a mentor, someone who's discipling us, mm. uh, someone in whom we're in some kind of peer relationship of mutual accountability, mm. that's an incredibly useful. Mm. So there's sort of the things that we attend to because they're in our calendar, if you like, yes. church, devotions in the mornings with others, perhaps. Yes. But then there's the other things that we are responsible for and we if we're accountable for that then we're more likely to pick up our bibles and read it because we know someone's going to say how, how things been going and don't forget the early methodists were very good at this weren't they in their bands they would have set questions to ask each other around their spiritual growth and engagement with god uh, that could be a great model for our, our viewers uh, i think so I, I i i do not know of any christian renewal movement through two thousand years that's not involved uh, some kind of group work, uh, some kind of accountability within mm. that group, whether it's a smaller or larger group. Mm. Uh, Methodists are an outstanding example of that, but mm. they're not the only example of mm. God uh, regenerating individuals' lives, mm. and in the process, regenerating the wider church yeah. uh, through prayer, Bible reading, uh, and some kind of accountability structure, mm. and often through small group work. Mm. 
you must have heard that um, phrase, um, to build the church, you've actually got to build the people spiritually. And in, in, in some ways, you know, forget about the big picture. If, you, if we concentrate on the smaller disciplines in each individual Christian, then there'll be obvious sort of flow on effects for the whole um, body of Christ and local communities. Uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> I, th I think it's kind of like the spiritual equivalent of uh, the old saying, penny wise, pound foolish. Uh, in other words, you, you tend to right. the, the small or the seemingly small things, but actually yeah. they have big, big and, and wide reaching rewards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for your encouragement around the spiritual disciplines, prayer, Bible study, accountability, the rhythms, Sunday and during the week as well. Uh, I think that's been helpful and uh, we always need to be reminded of this. So thank you so much uh, again for your time, Bishop Peter, in this um, episode of uh, uh, Faith Questions. And uh, just a quick uh, message to our, our viewers. Uh, a reminder that if you found today's question interesting, please like this video and, and forward the link to others. We'd uh, love it if you did that. And don't forget to engage with questions of faith yourself. Uh, get involved in your local church and pass on the good news of Jesus. In these challenging times, he is still the hope of the world.